Hello everyone, welcome to the M5 Stack Basic Tutorial video. Today, we will introduce how to flash firmware onto the card pewter using M5 Burner and demonstrate how to use the UIFlow 2 graphical programming tool for development. Before conducting the experiment, you need to prepare the Type-C USB data cable in advance and install the M5 Burner desktop application on the computer in advance. Next, we will proceed with flashing the firmware using M5 Burner. Log in to your M5 Stack Community account. Select the card pewter from the device list on the left. Choose the appropriate firmware version. Download the card pewter firmware. Please hold down the GO button on the side of the card pewter before turning it on. Release it after the device is powered off. Then the device will enter the download mode. Select the firmware version you want to flash and click burn to start the process. Bind the device to your account. Fill in the required configuration information, such as Wi-Fi settings. Click Next to begin flashing. If you need to change the configuration information burned later, after the device connects to the computer and enters the download mode, click Configure to reburn the configuration information. Next, we will proceed with UIFlow to programming. Log in to the official website of UIFlow 2. Log in to your M5 Stack community account. UFLow 2 supports two development methods, online programming and offline programming. First, I will demonstrate how to develop online using Wi-Fi. Click the device management button at the bottom to view online devices and select the currently connected card pewter. Next, I will demonstrate how to display interface fonts on the card pewter device. Now, I will demonstrate how to develop offline using USB. Modify the program. Click the web terminal at the bottom left, select the serial port connected to the card pewter, and click Run. If you want to download and save the program directly to the device, click the Download button. Next, let's introduce how to use the UFLOW 2 graphical programming tool to develop and program the built-in peripherals of card pewter. This case enables the screen to change colors quickly. This case causes the device's speaker to emit a beeping sound at regular intervals. This case tests the button event of the device. This case involves clicking a button on the keyboard and displaying the clicked keyboard value on the screen. This case demonstrates how to use the Cores 3 host in conjunction with the unit IR module to receive infrared signals from card pewter devices. 